Play goes back down into the Caledonia end. Starting goaltender for the Brampton Bombers, number 30, Eric Angeli. He's played 23 games, or excuse me, I haven't done Justice Huzak yet. Here's a shot off the point off the right side by Abraham, and they score! Caledonia Corvairs with an early one to nothing lead, a minute and 43 seconds into this game. As it looked like Tyler Norrie on the far side, but we'll wait for the official announcement. So Matt Quilty with the first Caledonia goal. At 1.43 of the first period. Play on the near side, Quilty leaves the puck for Abraham. Abraham with a, far, a hard slap shot, kicked aside by Angeli into the far corner. Shepard checked on the far side. Connor Murphy picks up the puck instead, looks for a centering pass as Cote attempts to clear the zone. Four players tie up on the far side from the left. Abraham goes over to Montour, the shot wide of the near side post. Cote with the puck now, banks it off the boards to Durkach. Cote picks it up once again by the center ice red line as Connor Murphy is checked on the boards by the red line and goes off on a line change. Gilmore picks up the puck on the near side. Jeff Swift keeping the puck on side momentarily and Brampton heads back the other way on a two on two. A hard shot by Gilmore into the midsection of Del Conte, the new Caledonia netminder, wearing number 30 with red pants as Conte makes, as Marcus Del Conte makes the glove save. I don't know much about Michael Marcus Del Conte wearing the red hockey pants, perhaps up from the Hagersville Hawks of Junior C. Josh Villafort picking up the puck now, winds the puck around the near side, passes off to Matt Capicotto, who dumps a puck into the Caledonia end. Jake Durkoc can't handle the pass as the play goes for icing, two minutes and 39 seconds into this first period of play, Caledonia with a one to nothing lead. Fabrici grabbing the puck on the near side, his shot is partially blocked as Brampton heads the other way on a possible three on two. Here's a shot off the near side by Jonathan Glenn, kicked aside by Del Conte as Jackman tries to get a piece of the puck on the far side, but it deflects off Zemenko and into the crowd behind the Caledonia bench. Cleland and Zemenko to take the draw by the Caledonia blue line. Referee waves Zemenko out of the draw Fab Ricci will take the face off instead. Wins the draw, passing to himself as Bombery chases after the puck by the Brampton blue line. A delayed call here as Angeli goes to the bench. Two Caledonia forwards tie up Cleland by the Caledonia blue line as the game will see our first penalty The first penalty of tonight's contest coming at four minutes and 20 seconds. Villafort passes in to Hanlon who skates around the net 
cut off there by Ryan Blunt. He banks the puck off the near side as Brampton tries to regain possession. Handling with a nice shot halfway up the near side post. Handled well by Del Conte as Blunt tries to clear the zone for Caledonia. Minton able to clear the zone with 127 left in the first minor. Brampton Bombers on their first power play of the evening. Brampton with 21 power play goals for in 186 chances as Villafort makes a hard shot off the left side, misses everyone, and Eric DiCarlo has to recover in his own zone. Brady Cloutier with the puck now races up the far side and given a hard hit by Jeff Swift as Boroshevsky attempts to pick up the puck in the near corner. A fluttering shot by DiCarlo off the left side, handled by Del Conte, as Bombery will serve another 43 seconds or less in the first minor penalty of tonight's game. So Caledonia now two points ahead of the Cambridge Winterhawks, 49 points on the year versus Cambridge's 47. The Stratford Culletons able to defeat Cambridge last night and a come from behind win. Cambridge getting a point for the overtime loss as Anderson's tied up by a Caledonia forward. Boroshevsky retrieves on the far side boards. Anderson now has to skate around his own net to avoid the forecheck of Connor Murphy. Murphy passes off into the center ice zone to Bombery as he heads out of the box. Wilson, his shot wide of the net as he looks for Boroshevsky on the other side. And they score. No, that was Brad Shepard, excuse me, sneaking the puck in past the pad of Del Conte on the far side. And the Brampton Bombers able to tie this game up in one. Looking to continue their winning ways as of late. Trying to climb out of eighth place as they've lost, as they've won three of their last four games, getting a victory last night over the Waterloo Siskins, seven to four at the Powerade Center. Silvestri picks the puck up, passes off to Dorian. The pass and the shot knocked away by the Brampton goaltender. As Brampton heads back into the Caledonia end, Del Conte handles the puck. Hanlon trying to keep it in the Caledonia zone. The shot by Allen, and they score. So the Brampton Bombers move out in front in a screenshot by Kyle Allen to the far post. Bombery knocked off the puck by Villafour as Capicotto picks up the puck and waits behind his own net. Hanlon now skating past his own blue line, has to regroup momentarily. Bombery picks the puck up, but he's hit by Capicotto. Josh Villafour regrouping in his own zone as he turns away from Leonard Zemenko. Capicotto passes up the near side to Clellan, intercepted at the Brampton blue line by Zemenko. Zemenko passes into Bombery, who's tied up on the near side. Clellan ties his man up. Abraham gets a shot off the right side, kicked aside by Angeli as Ricci
Ricci with the snapshot there, and Jelly handles it nicely in the glove. So Caledonia getting the first goal of the game, but Hampton answering quickly. A nice wrist shot by Briar Jonathan, knocked away by Angeli as Jackman heads back the other way. Jeff Swift knocks the puck off the boards in his own zone. Anderson knocking the puck back into the Caledonia end. Metten can't handle the pass on the near side. The play goes for icing as Eric DiCarlo touches up. We'll have a face-off in the Caledonia zone as we approach the midway point of this first period. The Brampton Bombers with a 2-1 lead over the Corvairs. Anderson with a cross-ice pass intercepted by Swift. He moves down the far side, but knocked off the puck by DiCarlo. Here comes Brampton on a two-on-one. The pass is missed on the near side by Jake Gilmore as he tries to dig the puck out. Swift passes around the far side boards. Pass hits the end boards. Mitten gives chase, knocking it back around the far side. Connor Murphy hit there by Kyle Allen as he spins around looking to avoid the check of Allen. Up the near side to Jonathan Glenn, he skates up past the center ice red line and a shot gloved down by Del Conte as Brampton goes off on a line change. Blunt races up over the Brampton blue line, but he moves in offside. Face off by the Brampton blue line, won by Brampton's Brad Shepard as Kyle Allen passes up the near side to Wilson. Covered up at the side of the net by Del Conte. As Brad Shepard was looking for a pass, but Del Conte got a glove on it and held it there for a face-off in the Caledonia zone to the right of Del Conte. Abraham clears off the near side, intercepted by Derrigo as Brady Cloutier skates around the Caledonia net and passes off to the right side. Dorian hit on the near side boards, a hard hit by Villafort. Dorian gets a shot away anyway as Brampton heads back up ice. Michael Derrigo moving down the other side. Gorley tries to gain possession of the puck in the center ice area, but Caledonia grabbing the puck, clearing it back down into the Brampton end as the whistle goes for icing. Wilson to take the draw. Caledonia winning the faceoff. Silvestri passing back to Jeff Swift. Silvestri with the puck again now once again. He throws it down into the Brampton end. And Jelly sticks it to the near side corner. Quilty picking up the puck on the far side. Trying to move around Brad Shepard but Montour picks the puck up instead, skating around his own net past the far side. Here's a nice scoring chance, and Caledonia hits the side of the net. Murphy hit Matt Quilty at the near side. Quilty hitting the side of the net, and a penalty coming up here to Eric DiCarlo. Caledonia to their first power play of the evening. 
Caledonia with 50 power play goals for on the year and 273 chances as Montour takes the shot off Angeli's pad. Swift keeps it in at the right shot. The hard shot by Montour, the rebound. Quilty can't get a stick on it. As Connor Murphy dumped on the far side boards, Kyle Allen giving him a shot. So it looks like Caledonia will go to a two-man advantage here. Caledonia with an 18.32 power play percentage on the year. Brampton's penalty killing at 77.72%. As Josh Villafor heads to the box, Caledonia to a two-man advantage for a minute and 42 seconds. Jacob Hanlon to the box. Two minutes for boarding on that hit on Connor Murphy on the far side. Montour passes over to Swift, back to Montour to Swift. Montour at the top of the point. His shot hits something in front of the net as Connor Murphy skates around on the far side. Back to Montour, moves back to the top of the point and they score! Connor Murphy puts the shot in the near side as he skated on the far side off the pass from Montour. Caledonia with their first power play goal as the Corvairs tie this game up at two apiece. I thought Connor Murphy got that on the far side, but they're giving the goal to Matt Quilty. So perhaps it hits something in front off of Murphy's shot off the far side. Gorley now looking for the puck back to the point on the left. Blunt, his shot is partially blocked. Abraham gives back to Blunt. Cote tries to cut off the pass to Mitch Brown, but back into the far corner as Silvestri circles the net. Gorley piles on in the crease as Angeli falls over. Villafor giving Gorley a shot at the side of the net. Cleland to take the draw against Connor Murphy. Cleland wins it momentarily, passes back to his defense partner Anderson, who clears down into the Caledonia end. Montour picking the puck off on the far side, intercepted at the Caledonia blue line by Brady Cloutier, but Caledonia able to regain possession Matt Quilty skating up the near side. DiCarlo grabbing possession of the puck. The shot in handled by Del Conte. As Jeff Swift regroups in his own zone, passing up through center ice to Connor Murphy. Swift, the pass cut off by Anderson. His slap shot hits the stick of Jeff Swift. As a shot off the far side, is handled by Del Conte. 6.03 to go now in this first period of play. 
the Brampton Bombers and Caledonia Corvairs all tied up at two goals apiece. Durkot shoots the puck off the end boards. It ends up on the near side. The centering pass. Blunt tries to cut it off. Zemenko picks it up and clears down the near side boards. Gilmore shoots it into the center ice area. Glenn picks it up, throws it in on the far side. Glenn with the shot hit the shoulder of Del Conte. As Durkoc turns around, Caputo shoots the puck back into the Caledonia end. Blunt recovering behind his own net, skating up by his own blue line. The pass to Bombery as Clellan gains possession. Fabrici takes it away and skates up past the center ice red line with a weak shot hitting the stick of Angeli. Ricci circling the net, cut off by Jackman. As Boroshevsky skates up by the Caledonia blue line. Matt Capicotto fans on the passing attempt, picked up by Briar Jonathan momentarily, but Brampton heads back the other way on the clear end, clear in by Clellan. Capicotto can't keep the play on side, so he shoots it in and goes off on a line change. Mitten shoots it off the near side boards. Brampton gaining possession. Cloutier passes to Hanlon, moving up the near side. And Hanlon, with a nice shot, tries to go in between the legs of Del Conte. But Del Conte gets down to make the save with 4.16 left in the first period of play. Jacob Hanlon to take the draw. On the opposite side is Mitch Brown. Brown wins the draw, passes off to Jonathan, but Brampton able to gain possession now. Here's DiCarlo, he picks the puck up in his own end, passes by his own blue line, up to Cote who dumps it in to the Caledonia end. Montour has to regroup behind his own net. The pass off, Mitten falls down by the near side boards. Montour skating ferociously past the center ice red line all the way into the Brampton end and gets a shot in on the Brampton goaltender, Angeli, who covers up with the glove. Gorley to take the draw against Shepard, or that's Silvestri now that will take the draw instead. Gorley heading to the left wing. Swift passing back to Montour who gives back to Swift. The pass to Silvestri up to the center ice red line. As Scott Dorian falls down in the in the Brampton end, Wilson giving chase, Caledonia picking the puck up, looking to go in on a two on two, but Cote picks the puck up, dumping it down into the Caledonia end. Del Conte leaving the puck for Spencer Gorley, who passes off to Dorian, clearing into the Brampton end. Gorley turns around, the shot off the right by Blunt, the hard slap shot is blocked. Del Conte passing back to his defenseman, Ferris. Greg Wilson for Brampton coming up with the puck, intercepted by Gorley. He passes off to Quilty looking for a shot at the near side. Kept in by Caledonia, picked up by Villafour. Villafour banks it off the boards into Capicotto, back to Villafour in their own end and back to Capicotto. So Quilty and Murphy and Nori in on the forecheck 
as they cut the play off. Nori centering pass to Quilty. It's blocked by Jake Durkoch. Gilmore hands off to Capicotto. Connor Murphy trying to chip the puck off the boards, picked up by Villafour. Glenn heads the other way, passing off to Jake Durkoch as Glenn heads down into the Caledonia end. He's tied up by two Caledonia forwards, Ferris and Connor Murphy, with just over a minute to play in the first period of play. The Bombers and Corvairs Cleland to take the draw against Zemenko. Zemenko's kicked out of the draw, taken now by Mitch Brown. Anderson, the Brampton defender, falls down as Mitch Brown goes into the Brampton end, but the play goes for icing. A faceoff in the Caledonia end to the right stick side of Marcus Del Conte. Boroshevsky clears the puck around the boards, picked up instead by Zemenko. Reed Jackman keeping the puck in for Brampton as Boroshevsky touches up at the Caledonia blue line. Head referee Bridgman calling a high stick. Connor Anderson going to the box. And Caledonia back to the power play. Already with one power play goal here tonight. Nori winning the draw back to Swift. Darago and Connor Murphy have words. Connor Murphy looks to be going to the box. As Montour and Darago continue to chip away at each other as we move just under a minute to play now, 54 seconds to go in this first period of play. Hanlon held up at the far blue line by Swift as Darago grabs possession of the puck. We'll play four on four to end the period as Kyle Allen's shot deflects into the near side corner. Quilty going the other way, cut off by Darago, shot back in to the Brampton end as Montour shoots from the right side. Hanlon picking the puck up and clearing it past his own blue line as the final 10 seconds tick away. The pass to Quilty, cut off by Allen, the Brampton defender. They tie up on the near side boards to end the period. So both teams still talking away to each other. Not the happiest with the penalty calls in that first period of play by either team as both teams will start the second period four on four so at the end of the first period of play, Matt Quilty got the Corvairs on the board at 143 of the first. The Bombers tied the score on a goal by Brad Shepard. Kyle Allen with the hard slap shot off the left point put the Bombers ahead two to one before Matt Quilty got a power play goal on the assist by Connor Murphy. So at the end of the first period of play, it's the Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs two and the Brampton Bombers two.
history to play the Corvairs and Bombers knotted up at two after one period of play. On the out of town scoreboard, it's the Cambridge Winterhawks three and the Guelph Hurricanes one with 419 left in the second period. Also in action, the Waterloo Siskins have a one nothing lead over the Elmira Sugar Kings. Caledonia in Elmira tomorrow night for a 7 p.m. game at the Dan Snyder Memorial Center before playing a home and home next weekend against the Stratford Cullitans. Friday night, they'll be in Stratford before returning home to the HCCC in Caledonia for a return matchup against the Cullitans at 20 after seven. Play now underway in this second period of play. Montour hands off to the corner to Mitch Brown who hands it back to Montour. His shot off the right point. The wrist shot is handled in the glove by Eric Angeli. Caledonia winning all four previous matchups against the Bombers this season by scores of 5-0, 6-0 in their last two games, 4-3 on November the 21st, and 8-2 way back on September the 21st. But a much improved Bombers team since then. Like I said, to start off the telecast, winners of three of their last four games, winning last night against the Waterloo Siskins, seven to four. Darago intercepts at the Caledonia blue line, and the shot by Jacob Hanlon is handled in the glove by the midsection of Del Conte. Face off in the Caledonia end. Connor Murphy takes the draw, wins the draw, and hands it back to the right side to Ryan Blunt. Ferris now picking the puck up by his own blue line, clears the zone as Connor Murphy moves the play in at the Brampton blue line. Villafort with the puck behind his own net, banks it off the boards by his own blue line. Shot back in from the center ice red line by Kyle Allen. Angeli covering up with the glove as play went back into the Brampton end. Murphy to take the draw against Brandon Cleland. Cleland wins the draw off escape, but can't find a Brampton forward as Ferris keeps it in on the left point. Blunt throws it back over to Quilty on the far side. Murphy turns around. He's knocked down by Boroshevsky. Blunt moves in off the point. Connor Murphy tied up in the corner by Allen and Boroshevsky. His shot wide to the far side. Nori picks the puck up at his own blue line, knocked over by Cleland as play goes back behind the Caledonia net. Ferris picking up the puck, banking it off the boards, intercepted by Boroshevsky and played back in behind the net by Jonathan Glynn. Glenn stands up, Nori at the blue line. The shot by Phil Caputo. As Del Conte goes down on all fours to cover up by the near side post. A face off in the Caledonia zone to the left glove side of Del Conte as Silvestri wins the draw, hands it back to Abraham, who dumps it around the far side boards all the way back into the Brampton end. 
DiCarlo hit heavily in his own zone by Spencer Gorley as Glenn tries to move around the defenseman Abraham. Glenn keeps the puck in the Caledonia end. Blythe now picks it up, passes to Gorley who goes behind the back to Silvestri, up the far side and back to Silvestri. Passes around the net to Bombery. Bombery tied up behind the Brampton net. Abraham shot off to the far side over to Gorley, cut off by Anderson of the Brampton defense. Kept on side by Swift at the left side. The shot is kicked away by Angeli. DiCarlo attempts to chip the puck off the boards, but it ends up in the penalty box. As we'll have a face off by the Brampton Blue Line. Hanlon to take the draw against Semenko. Hanlon wins the draw, but it comes back to Swift. Cut off by Darago by the center ice red line as he shoots the puck in on the far side. Swift passes in to Zemenko, who leaves it behind the net for Montour. Swift passes cross ice to Zemenko, can't handle the pass. Hanlon moving in one on two, passes off to Darago. As a Brampton defender, Villafor falls down. He's able to pick up the puck once again, moves in to the Caledonia end. The shot knocked away by Del Conte as Dorian moves up the far side boards. Four and a half minutes into this second period of play, the Bombers and Corvairs tied it too. Cloutier, the centering pass, cut off by Montour as he skates up past his own blue line, passes off to Minton on the far side, goes into the slot to Zemenko. Cote with a long pass to Wilson, but he can't handle the pass. Greg Wilson falls down on the pass. The play goes for icing as the two teams head back to the Brampton end for a faceoff. Brown wins the draw, gives to Minton on the left side. It's partially blocked as Francois Cote heads up the far side. Brad Shepard the shot at the side of the net and covered up at the side of the net by Del Conte. A face off in the Caledonia end to the right of Del Conte. Brown takes the draw, he puts it to the far side boards where Cote keeps the puck in for Brampton. Mitten hits Kyle Allen by the center ice red line. Play back into the Caledonia end as Wilson gives Del Conte a shove. Caledonia looking for a penalty, but no call on the play. Ferris hands off to Brown, who dumps it back into the Brampton end, leaving the puck for Kyle Allen, who shoots it up the near side boards. Blythe chips it off the near side. Brown comes up with the puck, a wrist shot into the glove of Eric Angeli as Brown tries a centering pass off the near side. The shot to the far side, Brown tries to move back into the slot, but cut off by Boroshevsky. A two on one, the shot, and they score! Reed Jackman with his first goal of the night. Off a three on two, off the missed pass the other way by Mitch Brown. Brampton capitalizes on the defensive miscue. Reed Jackman with a nice wrist shot to the far side post over the shoulder of Del Conte. The Brampton Bombers now leading this game three to two. So 
Reed Jackman from Nick Boroshevsky. Boroshevsky headed down the near side on the Caledonia defensive miscue, passing into the slot to Jackman, who put a beautiful wrist shot into the top corner past Del Conte. Hanlon wins the draw back to the right side to Villafort. Quilty knocks the puck into neutral ice as Cloutier turns around, passes the puck down the far side to Villafort. He has to regroup in his own end behind the net, passes off to Hanlon, who goes cross ice to Caputo. Caputo goes back to the point to the right. The shot, Villafort's shot hits the end boards, comes back to Del Conte, who covers up at the side of the net. Cleland to take the draw. Mitch Brown wins it, leaving it for Blunt, who clears the puck up the far side boards. Cut off by DiCarlo. He tries a pass into Cleland. Cleland with the puck now turns around, goes back into the corner, back to the point. But Anderson can't keep it on side at the right point. The pass to Jackman instead goes into Boroshevsky. Brown cuts Jackman off at the blue line, racing back down into the Brampton zone. Mitten turns around at the Brampton blue line, dumping it back down into the Brampton end, and Jelly leaving the puck for Connor Anderson. Anderson passes up the near side to Cleland, handing off to Boroshevsky. Boroshevsky tries to go around Silvestri, as Jackman and Dorian, or Simon Blythe rather, tie up on the near side boards. Anderson tries to keep it in. Silvestri grabs it instead. The pass up to Gorley, he can't handle the pass. As Angeli able to cover up before Gorley can move in on the two on one. So Silvestri tried a breakaway pass to Gorley there but the missed pass just resulting in a cover-up by Eric Angeli. Brampton on the power play for another 15 seconds. Cloutier turns around by the right point, going back into the corner to Hanlon. The intercepted pass by Montour as he goes down the other way. The Caledonia penalty to Jeff Swift expiring. Ricci the shot, looking for a man in front of the net. But three players back for Brampton as they shoot the puck down into the Caledonia end. The whistle for icing with 11.13 to go in this second period of play. The Brampton Bombers taking the lead on the wrist shot from Reed Jackman. Darago passes back to Villafor, who gives to Darago, shooting into the Caledonia end. Zemenko moves in on the Brampton blue line. He goes down in behind the net, but cut off there by Villafort. Passing off to Gilmore, he races in down the far side, looking for Jake Durkoch in the slot. Left in by Allen at the left side. Glenn in behind the net, checked by Ryan Blunt. Glenn with the puck again, passes off to Durkoch. Durkoch turning around on the far side, hit by Abraham. Ricci banks the shot off the far side boards and ties up Kyle Allen on the far side along with the puck. So we'll have a face off by the Brampton blue line or by the Caledonia blue line, excuse me.
Brad Shepard to take the draw against Mitch Brown at the Caledonia Blue Line. Caledonia looking for their fourth straight win tonight. But so far, the Bomber is able to take a 3-2 lead as we're one second to the midway point of this game. Brampton's play a lot better these last four games than their 10 wins on the year would indicate. A bad clearing pass by Angeli. Brown tries to hit the open net on the near side, but the puck goes down into the far corner. Mitten spins in the corner, gives to Jonathan. So Mitten will chase the puck once again, picked up by Allen, and the puck ends up over the glass on the near side boards. As both teams make a line change as we've just passed the midway point of this contest. Murphy and Clellan face off, tying off in the skates. Murphy looked to hit Tyler Norrie on the right wing. But as Blythe gives chase into the Brampton end, the play goes for icing. So Murphy and Clellan will face off again on the near side face off dot to the right of Angeli. Boroshevsky comes up with it, passes down the near side. And a delayed offside as the linesman put his arm up briefly. Ferris gaining possession of the puck, banking it off the boards down into the Brampton end. And we have another whistle as play goes back to the Caledonia end. A face-off to the left glove side of Del Conte. Shot by Hanlon goes wide of the near side. Caledonia picking the puck up, looking to move the puck out of their own zone. As the puck on the near side by the penalty box. Hanlon now passes off to Cloutier on the short side. Intercepted by Quilty. He skates up over the center ice red line, making a hard shot. No one in the zone yet for Caledonia. Eric Angeli with a nice glove save on the far side. Quilty to take the draw against Clellan, or that was Silvestri, excuse me. Clellan wins the draw, passes off to Capicato. Cloutier down the near side, the pass into the slot, and a nice pad save by Del Conte as Clellan tried to go in between the legs. The net being knocked off its moorings. Cleland looking to go in on a breakaway, but got in too close to the net. Still, Del Conte had to make a big save on the far side, as Cleland will stay out to take the draw against Silvestri. Cleland wins the draw back to the point to Anderson. The shot deflects up over the Caledonia net. Boroshevsky turns around, passes into the corner to Cleland. Boroshevsky can't handle the puck as Brandon Montour clears the puck down in to the Brampton end. Jackman tries to handle the puck at the center ice red line. DiCarlo now with the puck, passes off to Clellan, back to DiCarlo. The hard shot wide on the far side. Over to Anderson on the near point. Passes off into the corner, Boroshevsky. Clellan and Jackman tie up behind the Caledonia net as Montour checks Clellan, coming away with the puck momentarily before Jackman regains possession, passes off to Anderson. 
deflects off a of Caledonia forward back into the Brampton end. Looks like Reed Jackman going to the box. Jackman has words with head referee Percy as he slams the door of the penalty box. So the two teams will play four on four for 56 seconds. Abraham in the box for another 50, 56 seconds before Caledonia will go to a brief power play. Brampton losing the puck in the slot. Mitten with a big chance as Nathan Ferris bowls over the goaltender. And Jelly down on his back. So Jackman will serve two minutes for interference. Perhaps after the offsetting minors, Caledonia will look for the third and tying goal of this contest as a hard shot by Blunt goes all the way around the boards back down into the Caledonia end picked up by Ferris as he skates down the far side crosses ice an attempted pass cut off by Brampton as they clear back into the Caledonia zone He loses the draw to Durkoc, the shot, the rebound. Quilty and Nori looking for a rebound in front of the Brampton net. Blunt has to go back and recover in the Caledonia end. Quilty passes the puck back to Blunt who turns around in his own end avoiding the forecheck of Francois Cote, passing off to Connor Murphy, skates up past the center ice red line and the Brampton blue line, back to the left point to Blunt over to Murphy, turns away from a Brampton forechecker Caputo, the pass down behind the net, Montour with a shot off the right side, a hard slap shot, Caledonia regaining possession, Murphy down the near side into Nori, cut off by Kyle Allen, who chips it off the boards, back down the ice as Cote tries to avoid the Caledonia defender Montour and go in short-handed. Cote looking for the fourth Brampton goal of the contest, but Nori able to pick the puck up, skate down past the Brampton blue line. The shot hit the post on the far side. A big snapshot by Tyler Nori. Hit the post to the far side of Angeli. Brampton coming away with the puck now. Villafour skating up past the center ice red line, dumping it down into the Caledonia zone as he chases after his own rebound. Montour the other way around the net. He looks for a centering pass. The pace starting to pick up now with 4.40 to go in the second period of play. Brampton moving over the Caledonia blue line. The shot by Hanlon. The rebound. There I go with a shot and PTA covered up nicely by Del Conte. As seven players in front of the Caledonia net knock each other over. Two good scoring chances there for Brampton as they look for their fourth goal. Looks like Bombery heading to the box for Caledonia. Looks like he'll be the only player taken off. So Brampton will head to the power play.
Brampton with 21 power play goals and 186 chances for just an 11.29 power play percentage heading into tonight's game. Angeli passes down the far side to Caputo. Brampton looking to set up the power play as Darago moves in offside at the Caledonia blue line. Looks like Blythe will now go to the box for Caledonia. So Brampton to a two-man advantage for the next 136. Cloutier recovers behind his own net. Blythe two minutes for high sticking as Caputo moves over the Caledonia blue line on the Brampton two-man advantage. Cloutier moves into the slot off the point, his shot high and up over the net. Villafour now in that same spot off the right point, intercepted by Swift as he looks to move around Villafour. Swift claiming he was still onside as Mitch Brown looked to break down the far side. Mike Bullard also very unhappy. I believe you have to keep a skate on side at the blue line. And it looked like his stick. Anderson from the right down into the corner to Jackman on the near side corner. Back to Anderson to Jackman down to the left point. To Carlo, a hard shot. Jackman tries to go back door, but it ends up back on the right point. Jackman's shot partially blocked. Montour able to get it out of the zone momentarily. Cleland has to regroup in his own zone. Jackman hands back to Cleland. Passes off to Boroshevsky, back to Cleland to Boroshevsky. The shot, the net knocked off its moorings as Boroshevsky's stick Looked like it got a piece of the shoulder of goalie Del Conte. Don't know if there'll be a call there. With 19 seconds left in the first minor to Bombery and the second minor, 42 seconds left to Blythe for the high stick as we have a face off by the Caledonia blue line. Anderson passes off to the right point to Boroshevsky, intercepted by Caledonia. As Swift shoots the puck down the ice, covered up by Angeli. Brown tries to grab the possession of the play, shoots in on Angeli, but Brampton goes back the other way. Jackman on the near side boards, the pass back to Anderson. He can't handle the pass. Caputo has to recover back in his own end. Anderson now with the puck, skates up by the center ice red line, rainbows the puck in, and Del Conte covers up with the glove. Hanlon to take the draw against Briar Jonathan to the left glove side of Del Conte. Com Caputo off the right, passes into Cloutier. Darago in behind the net now, turns around, passes off to Hanlon. Caledonia gaining possession of the puck. Silvestri tries to work his way in around the Brampton defender, but Darago intercepts and skates the other way. Yeah. 
So Brampton back to the power play by the looks of things. Briar Jonathan back to the box. Another high sticking call. So Caledonia may be shooting themselves in the foot here, taking too many penalties in the back half of this second period. But Brampton only at an 11% power play percentage going into tonight, looking to improve as Mitten breaks down the far side shorthanded. Boroshevsky passes into the slot over to the near side to Clellan. Jackman turns around in the corner now. Boroshevsky and Jackman dig for the puck. Clellan comes up with it, moves into the slot, and a hard shot might have caught a piece of the mask of Del Conte as it hit the end boards and came right back to Del Conte, who covers up for a face-off in the Caledonia end with a minute and three to go in the second period of play. The Brampton Bombers with a 3-2 lead over the Caledonia Corvairs. Caputo keeps the puck in at the left side. The pass off to Cote. Cote's shot partially blocked, dribbles down into the corner. Zemenko takes the puck away from Del Carlo. Zemenko looks for his own rebound, but De Carlo picks up the puck, passes off to Caputo, who dumps down into the Caledonia end. Del Conte shoots it up around the near side boards. De Carlo fans on the pass. Down the far side, Caledonia looking for a centering pass to Zemenko. Nori still with the puck, can't find someone to pass off to. So he takes the puck and shoots it down into the Brampton end. Zemenko checking to Carlo in behind the net. Zemenko and De Carlo tie up with Brad Shepard. Francois Cote now with the puck, but there's a big scrum in behind the net as the period ends. I see a Brampton player down, looks like De Carlo. Tangled up with Leonard Zemenko. So we'll have to see a penalties result as DiCarlo was knocked down behind the net. Wilson now arguing with the Caledonia bench. Both teams screaming and yelling at each other as this second period comes to an end. So the only goal in this second period came on the wrist shot by Reed Jackman moving into the slot over the shoulder of Del Conte off the assist by Nick Boroshevsky. At the end of two periods of play, it's the Brampton Bombers three and the Caledonia Corvairs two. The referee blows play in with the whistle. We're just about set here to start the third period of play. The Brampton Bombers with a 3-2 lead going into this third period. 
off the wrist shot by Reed Jackman in the second period. That was the only goal of the second. On the out of town scoreboard, it's the Cambridge Winterhawks six and the Guelph Hurricanes one with a minute and 37 remaining in the third. Right off the draw, here comes Montour, a big shot, and they score! Montour getting his own rebound. Brandon Montour putting it past the glove of Eric Angeli and the Caledonia Corvairs have tied this game up at three apiece. So Caledonia will need the two points here tonight to stay ahead of the Winterhawks. Caledonia coming into tonight with 49 points. The Winterhawks coming in at 47 points. Here's a pass, here comes Montour again, tries to go in between the legs, and Jelly makes the save, almost losing the puck in between the legs. So a pass by Swift, right up through the center ice area to Montour. Montour nearly getting a second goal. So Caledonia, really applying pressure as we're just 30 seconds into this third period of play. Swift keeping play on side at the right point, goes to Quilty into the corner. Quilty regains possession back to the left to Montour, the centering pass, Quilty missing the pass. Jeff Swift moves into the high slot, the shot between the legs. Montour jumps off the point, looking for the rebound, skating in behind the net, the cross ice pass to Connor Murphy. Connor Murphy digs it out of some skates, but thrown up around the boards by Brampton's number 16, Phil Caputo. Swift moves on side, the hard slap shot wide of the near side ball, and they score! A defensive miscue by Kyle Allen. I don't think anybody touched it. It looks like Jeff Swift will get credit for the goal. The Corvairs now moving out in front, four to three. Just a minute and 21 seconds into the third. Caledonia with two quick goals as Shepard heads back the other way on the far side. So Jeff Swift on the power play puts the Corvairs out in front. Mitten ties up his man on the far side. The shot back to Blunt, moving in off the point now, off the right side, in behind the net. Five players tie up there, and Shepard comes away with the puck, passes the puck, cross ice to Boroshevsky, looking to move around Jonathan. The pass into the slot to Cote. He misses the pass on the far side, regaining possession goes into Gilmore in behind the net, intercepted by Mitten. Cote trying to move play or leave play in the Caledonia end as Blunt has to turn away from the Brampton forward, Jonathan Glenn. Villafort has to regroup in his own end, passes around the boards to Matt Capricato. Passes off the boards in behind his own net as Durkoch heads back the other way. Abraham taping, taking the puck and clearing it back into the Brampton end. A big shot by Bombery off the far side. Leaves it for Abraham back to Bombery and back to Abraham. The shot taken off the shoulder. Silvestri on the far side. 
looking for a rebound as Bombery and two Brampton forwards tie up on the far side. Durkot shoots it down into the Caledonia end. Glenn takes the puck on the end boards, but now intercepted by Jeff Swift as Bombery banks the puck off the far side boards. Silvestri goes into the slot to Gorley, but it's cut off by Kyle Allen at the far side. Angeli clears the puck up around the boards to Jackman. Clellan takes the puck. The pass cut off by Scott Dorian and cleared back in to the Brampton end in front of Angeli. Allen with the puck far side, passes up to Boroshevsky, cut off by Ricci, attempting a pass to Dorian. Ricci looks to move into the slot. Jackman picks up the puck and goes the other way, passes to the near side to Clellan, who tries to move in around defenseman Montour. Fabrici grabs the pass at center, the pass on the far side. Montour looks for a pass in behind the net, into the slot, looking for Dorian, but has to regroup, evading the forecheck of number nine, Jacob Hanlon. Allen regrouping behind his own net, the pass up to Cloutier, skating up past the center ice red line and over the Caledonia blue line. His shot into the midsection of Del Conte. Del Conte covering up at the near side post. 14.50 to go in this third period of play. The Caledonia Corvairs jumping out in front in two, with two goals in the first minute and 36 seconds of this period. Face off in the Caledonia end to the right stick side of Del Conte. Brampton winning the draw, Villafort leaving the play on side. Hanlon throws the puck around the boards back to Villafort, gives to Hanlon who moves into the slot. Puck ends up on the near corner. Michael Darago loses it momentarily, passes off to Hanlon looking to move into the slot from the side of the net. And here's a delayed call to Caledonia. Brampton will go back to the power play as a hard shot by Villafort. Brady Cloutier looking for a deflection in front of the net, but Caledonia touches up. Brampton goes back to the power play as Blythe heads to the box. Almost six minutes gone in this first period. I missed a penalty to Matt Quilty, apparently. So the Brampton Bombers will go to a two-man advantage for the next minute and 22 seconds. Brampton taking a timeout discussing an offensive strategy to capitalize on this two-man advantage, looking to tie this game up at four. Brampton looking for the, their 11th win on the season. Brampton with just four road wins on the season. Caledonia looking for their 51st points of the season if they can hang on here tonight. Here's a shot in the slot. Darago looking for Darago staying in the slot. Pass back to Caputo on the point over to Jackman on the left. And we have another whistle. Apparently just a tie up. I don't see a penalty on the play as we'll have a face-off in the Caledonia zone. Brampton stays on the two-man advantage for the next 109. 
Caputo from the center passes over to Jacqueline the shot, and they score! A hard shot by Jackman, a wrist shot in the top corner to the glove side over the shoulder of Del Conte. The Brampton Bombers able to tie this game at four on their first power play goal of the evening. They'll stay on the power play for the next one minute and 38 seconds as Simon Blythe remains in the box. So Reed Jackman from Phil Caputo at six minutes and seven seconds. The pass up the near side boards, Caputo goes cross ice to Hanlon. Hanlon turns around on the far side, avoiding Ryan Blunt. Clellan passes back into the corner. Back to the left side to Jackman. And over to Hanlon, back to Jackman, back. In front of the net now, intercepted by Caledonia. And they go back the other way, looking for a two on one. Montour breaks up ice. Jackman making a nice defensive play. chipping it away with, his, with the blade of his stick at the last possible second before Brandon Montour could move in on a breakaway. Nori and Cote on the draw. Nori wins the draw back to the point on the left side. The hard shot by Montour ends up behind the net as Cote breaks, up, breaks away on the far side, looking to come out of his own end. Cote with the play on the far side. Here's a shot. Del Conte gets a piece of that from the left is DiCarlo. Anderson from the right, the shot. Handled by Del Conte momentarily, Anderson looking to keep play on side. DiCarlo back by his own blue line, dumps it down into the Caledonia end. Jeff Swift picking the puck up, clearing it around the near side. Cote throws the puck back to his defenseman, number six, Matt Capacato. Capacato fans on the initial pass, passes over to DiCarlo on the near side. DiCarlo skates up past his own blue line, as Caledonia intercepts play, Bombery going after the puck in the near corner, play going for icing, will have a face off by the Caledonia blue line. Or now they're going to move the face off. Brad Shepard taking the draw against Nori. Villafour, the shot from the left, kicked away by Del Conte as Capicotto recovers the puck in the Brampton zone. Bombery down the far side to Gorley in the corner. Cut off by Caledonia, the shot by Bombery high up over the net over Angeli. Gorley turns around. Silvestri with the puck now by the center ice red line. The pass to Ferris, he can't handle it, so he heads off on a line change. Capicotto waits behind his own net, avoids the forecheck of Silvestri and passes up to Jackman. Jackman the pass into Gilmore by the Caledonia blue line. Now on the far side, taken away by Montour as he races up the far side, the pass into the slot to Bombery gets a great shot off the pad of the Brampton goaltender looking for a rebound, but Clellan now with the puck heading back the other way. 26 seconds to the midway point 
of this final period as the play goes for icing. The Caledonia Corvairs and the Brampton Bombers now in a 4-4 tie. Clellan to take the draw against Matt Quilty. Clellan wins the draw, hands back to Boroshevsky, but Caledonia able to clear the zone. Caputo picks the puck up behind his own net, avoids the forecheck of Nori up the near side to Jackman. Blunt cuts him off as Caledonia looks to go the other way on a two-on-two. -two. Allen intercepts the puck again, throws it into the Caledonia zone. Caledonia picks the puck up on the near side boards and Abraham waits behind his own net, trying to slow down the pace of play as we've just passed the midway point of the third period. Nori back to Abraham on the left side, back down deep into the corner in the Brampton end. Brampton's Brady Cloutier intercepts and goes down in to the Caledonia end on the near side. Hanlon turns around the shot to the far side Kicked aside by Del Conte, catches a piece of the netting up in behind the net with 9.14 to go in the third period of play. So Brampton looking to move to 26 points on the night. Here's a shot in the slot, goes wide to the near side. Shepard looking to keep play in the Caledonia end. DiCarlo throwing the puck back into the Caledonia end. A long shot by DiCarlo. Durkoch looking for a rebound. But play had stopped several seconds before then at Brantford. If Brampton can get to 26 points tonight, they'd move within seven points of the Stratford Cullitons. Brampton, Brampton looking to make a push in the second half, looking to try and get to that eighth and final playoff spot in the Midwestern Conference. Or no, excuse me, Brampton is in the eighth slot. They're looking to move to seventh in the Midwestern Conference standings. So eight of the nine Midwestern Conference teams to make the playoffs as we are, as we are at the second game of this second half of play. Both teams, this is their second game after the All-Star break. The All-Star game being played on December the 30th at Kinsman Arena before all teams in the GOJHL went on a Christmas break. So Brampton, if they can get the fifth goal, possibly a win here tonight. A strong second half might improve their playoff seating as we move closer to the GOJHL playoffs to start the third week of February. Hanlon and Captain Mitch Brown to take the draw to the glove side of Del Conte. Allen keeping play in at the point. Angeli eludes the forecheck of Metten, passing back to Brady Cloutier as Jacob Hanlon moves up the near side. Play now back to Kyle Allen on the Brampton defense. 7.38 to go in the third. The two teams now knotted at four. Allen from the left, he's looked very strong tonight. Already with one. 
one goal and a couple of nice shots off that left point. Here's another as Del Conte covers up on the shot by Allen from along the ice. Kyle Allen looks to be very good at making shots on net through traffic. That's his third or fourth good scoring chance on the evening already with a goal here tonight. Allen recovering behind his own net, avoids Quilty and passes up to Hamlin who goes cross ice to Caputo. The pass to Hamlin in the slot, Hamlin falls over and as a result, his shot ends up in the ceiling, in the netting. As we have a stoppage in play with just under seven minutes to go, Francois Cote to take the draw against Nori. Cote wins the draw, but it ends up back on the stick of the Caledonia defender, Abraham. A lead pass from Montour up to Nori is missed on the near side. They go in for icing, a face off back down in the Caledonia end. Nori winning the draw, dropping it back for the defense. The defenseman wrapping it around the boards, Blythe wrapping it around the board on the far side as Villafort clears the puck back in. Del Conte leaving the puck for Blythe who passes to Montour. Intercepted momentarily by a Brampton forward, but Brad Shepard attempts to clear the puck out of his own zone. He does so but Blunt throws it back into the Brampton end. Villafort turns around and gives it back to the defender, Matt Capicotto, who clears it down into the Caledonia end. Blunt now behind his own net, has to turn around to avoid the forecheck of Jackman, now back in behind his own net. Blunt skating up past the center ice red line, dumps it down in to the Brampton zone. Quilty gives chase on the far side. He's looking for a pass, but he can't evade Cleland on the far side. The puck moves back into the Caledonia zone and touched up for an icing. Cleland and Silvestri on the draw to the right of Angeli. Brampton coming away with the puck. Jackman passes up to Boroshevsky. DiCarlo recovering in his own zone and cleared back in by Justin Abraham. Cleland chips the puck down into the Caledonia end as he goes off on a line change. Caledonia picking up the puck once again. Blythe skating over the center ice red line with Gourley on the far side. Picked up by Allen, banked off the boards and back down into the Caledonia end with now just under five minutes to play in the third period. Caledonia and Brampton all tied up at four. Brown wins the draw, the pass to the right wing to Jonathan, back down in. He misses the pass, back down into the Caledonia end. Montour grabs it there, passes off to Mitten, who gives back to Montour, throwing it around the far side boards. Montour now with it once again, passes to Mitten. He goes down the boards, but Kyle Allen grabs the puck. Allen passed momentarily to another Brampton defender, Gay back to Allen, who passes up to Cloutier, play back down in the Caledonia end. Hanlon turns around, intercepted by Caledonia as they try to go back the other way. The shot handled by Angeli on the stick side by the blocker. 
Mitch Brown tied up in the corner. Montour Villa for Mitch Brown and another looks like Capicotto all tied up down behind. Here's a big chance, a centering pass by Swift. The shot by Montour at the side of the net. There was a Caledonia forward initially on the far side, but he couldn't handle the pass. Instead, Montour gets just a weak shot away from the far side at a bad angle, and the teams remain tied at four. Caledonia looking for the go-ahead fifth goal with just under three and a half minutes to play. Blunt dumping the puck back in to the Brampton end. Caputo picks the puck up, dumps it down the ice. Abraham knocks it down with the body and chips it off the near side board. Centering pass by Brampton, nobody there. The Caledonia defender picks it up, goes around the net. Abraham back around to Blunt. Blunt with the puck now, skates around the near side. Passes back to Abraham, who looks to avoid the forecheck of Cote. Cote checked his man enough to get it back to the Brampton defense. Allen now dumps it out, but a bad giveaway. Fab Ricci ends up right in the slot and a big glove save by Eric Angeli with 2.37 to play in the third period of play. We're just 2.37 away from possible overtime and maybe a shootout. Face off in the Brampton end. Quilty deflects it wide. He's one open in the slot and they score! Matt Quilty wide open in the slot. Hits the top corner by the near side post. And the Caledonia Corvairs have the go-ahead lead, have the go-ahead goal, and lead this game five to four with 2.30 to go in the third period of play. Let's see if the Corvairs can hang on. So Matt Quilty with his hat trick goal. Knocked away by DeCarlo, the Brampton forward, as Jeff Swift shoots it back down into the Brampton end. Brady Kluske on a break. Tries to split the Caledonia defense, but Nori gains possession of the puck. Here's a big problem behind the Caledonia net. The net knocked off its moorings. Montour with his helmet off yapping to Michael Darago. We'll see if any penalties result out of this. Face off in the Caledonia end. Apparently nobody going to the box. Hanlon and Brown to take the draw to the left stick side of Marcus Del Conte. Del Conte playing his first game with the Corvairs here tonight. Shot down the far side. Briar Jonathan can't keep up with it. Angeli throws the puck to the far side. Play now back in the Brampton zone as the puck goes down into the Brampton end for icing. We'll once again have a draw to the stick side of Del Conte.
McClellan digging for the puck on the far side. He throws back to the right point to Jackman. His shot deflecting into the corner on the near side. Jackman has to recover in his own end now as Brampton has pulled their goalie and Jelly to the bench for a sixth attacker and they score! Brampton turns the puck over to Briar Jonathan at the center ice red line. The Corvairs with their sixth goal on the evening into the empty net. A bad time for Brampton to turn the puck over with one minute and one second left to go in this third period of play. The Caledonia Corvairs extend their lead to two. Now with a six to four lead, just under a minute to go. Play back down in the Caledonia end. Montour picks it up behind his own net and throws it off the far side boards. The net once again empty for Brampton as play goes for icing. So after seven goals by the Bombers in their victory over Waterloo last night, that's what they'll need here tonight to get a victory but not likely to get two goals in 35.6 seconds. That's all that's left in this third period of play. DiCarlo shoots it up the far side boards. Shepard checked by Silvestri. Silvestri and Shepard tie up on the far side boards and now there's a scrap resulting out of that hit. Is Silvestri in a bad place pinned up against the Brampton bench as the two linesmen try to separate Silvestri and Brad Shepard. off in the Brampton end to end this game. Blythe with the shot, kicked aside by Angeli. Ricci on the far side, tries to grab possession of the puck. We're under 10 seconds now. Ricci's just gonna hold it on the far side boards. Glenn comes away with it, but the buzzer ends it. The Caledonia Corvairs with a big third period coming away with a six to four victory here tonight. On the out of town scoreboard, the Winterhawks did indeed win that game seven to one over Guelph. So the Corvairs remain two points ahead of the Cambridge Winterhawks. Caledonia with 51 points on the year, the Winterhawks with 49. So Montour, gets the tying goal at three in this third period of play. Jeff Swift puts the Corvairs ahead four to three with a power play goal. Reed Jackman scores for the Brampton Bombers before Matt Quilty gets a hat trick. Briar Jonathan getting the empty net goal your final score here tonight, the Caledonia Corvairs six and the Brampton Bombers four. For the Caledonia Corvairs Hockey Club, I'm John Molson. 
Join us Saturday, January 12th for our next home game at the HCCC Haldemand Arena. The Corvairs host the Stratford Cullitans at 7.30. Good night.